As much as they're killing the cancerous cells, this therapy is also destroying your body, your immune system, and the healthy part of the body and healthy cells. Isn't it amazing in the year that we're at right now, like that's still our number one thing is to put poison in our body to basically F you cancer as well. One of us is going to make it. One of us, I just find that so weird. I just do. It's true. And if I can call you my friend, uh, if you don't mind, you know, I being also uh, in that medical field, I saw so many people dying and, you know, even children and grownups and I, but then when you're on the other side, it feels much heavier because your hands are tied and now you're dealing with your own mother and she's my best friend. So one night I started digging to the computer and I started searching on miracles and the healings. That's while she was sleeping after, you know, taking her to the therapy. And as I was typing, I was with my dog, Maggie, and I found out and he said, spiritually called Wanakami on uh, uh, Nakoda uh, people, their language. And I started searching and then I saw so many people, my friend found the healing here. They even, you know, started walking. They were crunches for the, you know, over 10, 12 years. Some of them had multiple sclerosis, heart issues. And then I saw also that was recognized by Vatican. So the Vatican just recognized this place as a place of healing. And uh, then I started contacting with some of my original friends and I started asking, you know, how miraculous this lake is, what do I need to do? And I decided to take my mother there. We went more than a couple of times and I did the ritual that I was told and I learned from our Aboriginal people. And I will never forget the words of oncologist, Dr. Keith Tenkel saying exactly the words, just continue whatever you're doing, it's working. And that's what's written in a book. And my mother finally uh, got healed and we crossed the, uh, basically cut the cross cancer card institute and, you know, she was healed, but this was a miracle. And uh, that's how I decided to write a book about it to say, hey, what? you know, this little hidden jewel, it's a lake that nobody knows why it's totally providing the healing. Over thousands of the years, Aboriginal what? people- Let's did just, Let me just jump in one second. Yes. This is Spirit Lake in Alberta, Canada, because there is a lot of Spirit Lakes through the world. So, so yes. everybody knows what one you're talking about. It's the one yes. in Alberta, Canada. Okay. Yes. Yes, and uh, basically also they can find it under other name. Uh, I use it under Aboriginal name, Vanakami or the Spirit Lake. And then uh, when the basically pioneers came, they changed the name into the uh, Lake St. Anne. One of the priests named it Lake St. Anne. So there's a missionary to Lake St. Anne. So they can even type on the Google Lac St. Anne and they'll immediate, immediately find the pilgrim and thousands of the healing that really uh, did happen. Um, but we must understand that our Aboriginal people over thousands of the years did practice their calling upon the universe. And what's amazing, Lauren, that there is a story that actually meteorite fall inside of that lake and give it certain properties that did heal uh, many people, including uh, my mother. And I decided then to give basically back to this beautiful community and to spread the word about, you know, spiritually can say to people come here because it does do the miracles. That, that's, that's amazing and awesome. So a couple of things. So when you say oh, she's healed, it, it's not considered re- in recession at all. It's considered. No, no, gone. she's totally hundred percent healed. Everything that's- is done. And uh, basically uh, anybody who knows me, I was so happy on my Instagram and on my Facebook, you know, I share about that. And uh, I even share how I cut the card because no, there's no remission. There is no, she's totally healed 100%. She's living a normal life. And she also had a stoma. So they remove even the stoma. So the stoma is gone. Yes, she has a scar, but when you had a cancer, I think the deepest scar is inside of your soul and in your mind that you need to recover now. And she is not worried about that, but she's now a totally healthy woman. She's 66. She's living a normal life just like you and I. 